Well, this is Mr. Anger. I'm looking at MathPace 1088 and I uh, want to go over a couple of types of problems. Um, <clears throat> this is, it's been a little while since I did some videos and actually as I'm recording this, um, it's a couple weeks after Christmas and so if I look fatter, it's because I actually am. I gained weight over Christmas break. Um, this is a snow day today, so the kids left school early, and uh, then I went home for supper, and now I'm back here making some videos this evening to hopefully help you. And uh, we'll see how many videos we can do here for this MathPace 1088. That's why I'm in a little more of a casual shirt than I normally wear. But anyways, let's dive in here, and uh, I'm going to start with this problem. Notice that in this problem we're solving for the variable x, but wow, we've got a lot of things going on here. We have parentheses, and we have this divided by something, and uh, at first glance it looks like it's kind of confusing. Let's start by remembering that the equal sign divides the equation into two equal halves. So the two sides have to be the same, have to be balanced. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the dividing by 6. So if I multiply by 6, and then I have to do the same thing on the other side, okay? Now the 6 here will cancel that, yay! Which leaves me with 12 times 2x minus 1 equals, and then um, 24 times 6, let's see... Oh, 4, I carry the 2, 12, so 144, okay? Then the next step, <coughs> excuse me, is we are going to distribute. So 12 times 2 is 24x minus 12 equals the 144. So we take the division and distribute it times both of these. So 12 times 2x and then the negative 1, so we've got to keep this negative, okay? Then the next step is I need, to, um, I need to undo the subtraction. So we'll add 12 to both sides. 24x equals 156. And then the last step, and I'm not going to finish it for you, okay? Because I, I wanted to show you the hard part, is we would just divide by the 24 on both sides. All right, so several steps there, but the first one is get rid of the denominator by multiplying by that denominator on both sides. Do the distributive property. Okay, let's try this one. We're going to do distributive property. This one, I'm going to end up with an x on both sides of the equation, though. So that's a little different. Let's uh, distribute this. 3 plus 2x minus 18. <coughs> Plus 12 minus 7x. Now when you get to a point like this, we want to take whatever are like terms on the same side of the equal sign and combine them. So I only have one x term, so there's nothing I can do with that, but I can simplify by adding 3 plus negative 18. Okay? So do you remember when we're adding and the signs are different? We subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger. That was in a previous video that we did about signs of uh, positive and negative numbers. So we'll subtract the 3 from the 18, <clears throat> but keep the negative. And we have 2x. All right. Now, it looks like, oh, I've got a 2x on both sides. They're going to cancel out. No, no, no. Let's get rid of the x on the right. So I'm going to add 2x over here. All right. And when I do that, that will cancel. I'm adding 2x to the negative 2x. So we'll add 2x to the 2x here. Now I have 4x minus 15 equals 12. And then we're almost done. We add the 15 to both sides. All right. And get 27. And then again, we're almost to the last step and I'll let you finish it because all we have to do is divide both sides by the 4 and then write it as a mixed number, okay? So I don't think you'll find that one to be too hard, but you just have to follow through the distributive property first, combine the like terms on the same side, get rid of the variable on the right, bring it over here to the left, <coughs> and then you just finish solving, all right? 
Uh, we'll stop the video with that one and then uh, we'll do a few more before this piece is done.